Hey guys, how's it going? I'm ATF outside here uh, today for a couple reviews of whoops, a couple little spider cove knives on the left weighing 1.35 ounces wearing the stainless steel color it's the spider Co spin in the right hand weighing 1.2 ounces yes uh, one point or point one five less than its competitor uh, wearing black FRN scales it's the dragonfly 2 all right so this is not really a you know competitive video I just wanted to start out with something different but uh, what I'm gonna do here start with the uh, review of the dragonfly 2 then I'll come back and do a little review here of the spin now, if you want to see either of these, what I'm actually going to do is after the video is uploaded to YouTube, I will actually find the times that each review starts, and I'll put it in the underbar so you can fast forward all my uh, speaking right now and jump right to the review. All right, so look down there for the exact times, and uh, all right, let's start the reviews. All right, so as I just stated, we are going to start with the um, Spyderco Dragonfly 2. This is a sweet little knife. Um, I don't have the spider, the original dragonfly, because um, I just sold that um, last year, <laughs> a couple months ago. Um, so I don't have that here to, you know, do a side by side comparison. But let me tell you, this is so much better than the original. Um, it's got uh, some little jimping up there. It's got some jimping down there. It's got the wire pocket clip, and it's even got a different. Um, handle texture is pretty much the same as on the Delica and Enduras. Also, it's not pin construction anymore. You can actually take the knife apart or, you know, flip the pocket clip around or whatever with uh, some T6. Let's see, these here are T... This is a T6 and these are t 8 over here, I believe. I do not have my little tool kit over here, but I'm pretty dang sure just by looking at them that's T6, those are T8s. Like I said, the pot clip is removable or reversible, so if you're a lefty, you can put it over here. Of course, the thumb hole is ambidextrous, so if you're lefty, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, this is a... Let me kind of rub that off right there. That is a... Uh, oh, there we go. Blade with VG10 steel. Very, very sharp, and uh, it's got that nice leaf shape flat ground uh, blade so it'll it's a nice little slicer and uh, I don't have any paper out here but I'll just take off a couple hairs for you guys as you saw one swipe and uh, massacre of hairs right there on that blade and uh, man it is a mean little knife I have my ruler out here because I didn't want to memorize all the stuff, all the specifications. Um, oh, as I stated in the very beginning, this weighs only 1.2 ounces. The blade is, uh, we are going to say, 1 and 7 eighths inches overall. Let's see here. This, you probably won't be able to see this, but, um, do, 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 is, what is that? Five and a half, five and a half inches? Make sure that's right. Yeah, about that. And, uh, closed. It is three and let me see one two three and three eighths. Yeah, I believe that's right. <laughs> I've never been great at reading rulers, but uh, there it is, the Spider Co Dragonfly Two. Uh, great little knife. Everyone will say this, and I'll say it too. It is a big knife in a small knife's body. It does great work. Uh, it's a great cutter and very, very tough. No play side to side, up and down. Um, solid little folder. By the way, this pocket clip is very strong, despite what people say about the whole paper clip looking thing, which I gotta say, I did agree with. It does look like a paper clip, but it is very strong. Okay, that is the Spyderco Dragonfly 2. I bought it for about $48 off of knifecenter.com. All right, now time for the Spyderco Spin. All right, here we are now for the little Spyderco Spin. This thing is uh, very tiny. Um, a great a little pocket knife to literally drop in your pocket, uh, though it does have a clip, so if you want it a little more accessible, uh, you have the clip to, well, clip to your pocket. Also has a lanyard hole, which is pretty big for the small knife that it is. 
All right, as I stated in the very beginning of the video, it is a 1.35 uh, ounce knife. It is a little heavier than the dragonfly, um, though when you have them, let me get the dragonfly back out here, when you have them in your hand, they actually kind of feel the same. Um, because, you know, this one's a little bigger, obviously, the dragonfly's a little bigger, but it's FRN, it's a lighter weight material. Um, but this one is a little heavier. Uh, did I use my own little scale to actually test that? No, because the scale I have actually doesn't weigh things correct. It adds, adds about another three quarters of an ounce, so it doesn't really help. Anyways, uh, as you see here, this is the etched version, which is just gorgeous. Uh, so much more gorgeous than the other version, which just has like a spider web on it. Um, this one was actually about $8 more than the, the spider web one. And I, I was thinking about getting the other one, and I just thought, you know what, this is so gorgeous. I just have to go for it. And so I belted out the extra few bucks for this uh, sweet little looking knife. As you see there, the little choils just fit well right in the hand. It locks into your hand really nicely. Has that little kind of, kind of almost, someone uh, told me this, it looks like a pizza slice. Which, <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, I Yeah, I gotta agree. And that's there's a big old piece of pepperoni right there. Um, it kind of has that shape. So it's actually kind of almost like a spear point too. Though it comes to a, a little, you know, hook there at the end. And I think it actually looks more like a uh, bird's beak. Kind of has that little, you know, pokiness to it. Super thin, by the way. Let's get a ruler out here. Let's do the thinness. It is one quarter of an inch thick. One quarter of an inch thick. Uh, closed. Whoops. Closed. It is. Let's see. That is right there, which is two and a half inches overall. Or let's do the blade first, of course. The blade is one and. Uh, that looks about one and three quarters. Am I reading that right? I don't know. I'm not a great reader ruler as I stated in the beginning. And overall, it is, what is that? Just a hair over four. Four and an eighth or something like that. Right? So, very small package. See, um, uh, see that in my hand? Let me get the drying fly out here. Just to do one side by side comparison in the hand. Um, Dragonfly is bigger, but of course they are both very small knives okay um, I love them both oh by the way let me show you this real quick sexy city Japan oh both feature VG 10 steel which I did say about the dragonfly but not about the spin um, they both are great knives just fabulous knives I would recommend um, anyone get both of these um, though the spin is a little more of a gentleman's folder, it's a little more of a, a church knife, as fellow YouTuber Wilziak said about his spin, and uh, this one is maybe more of a, a worker knife, you know, one you would, uh, you know, use on a farm, beat the hell out of it, you know, and, um, I mean, it's a great knife. So, guys, do yourselves a favor and go pick up either of these. These are great knives, and, um... I hope my review here of both of these kind of helped you out. And uh, super awesome knives. Lockback, frame lock. There you go. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody.